A man is fishing. The fish pulls with a tension on the line of five pounds. What moment does the man need to exert on the rod so he doesn't tip over? The first thing you need to do is figure out what you can draw the free body diagram of. The piece of the rod that goes from the apex down to the line is essentially just a single five pound load. So all you really need to do is draw the free body diagram from H up to that point. Now, the man has to exert both an upward force of some magnitude and a force along the x-axis of some magnitude and, clearly, some moment. That's what we're looking for. The other thing you need to do is have some distances and some angles. This distance is given as 7 feet. This distance is 6 minus 4. That would be 2. Your 5 pound load is at an angle with theta, where theta is given by the distances here. This is 6 feet, this is 15. So you can find that this must be the square root of 6 squared plus 15 squared, or 16.155 feet. That's useful because we can write this 5 pound load in its vector form as 6 over 16.155 by similar triangles times its magnitude of 5 in the negative j direction and 15 over 16.155 times its magnitude of 5 in the i direction. We don't actually need to find theta. We can go ahead and write these in their component forms like that. All of our other forces are already in the Cartesian coordinate form, so we don't have to change them. We can write our equilibrium equations. The sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero. We have hx, and we're going to have 4.6424i from the 5 pound load equals zero. The sum of the forces in the y direction gives you hy minus 1.8570 from the 5 pound load equals zero. These were not needed. Nobody asked you about these. If it takes you a long time to do them, and you don't need them, skip them. The sum of the moments, you have to figure out where you're going to take the sum of the moments about. In this case, clearly, taking the moments about x, h, is a reasonable place because it eliminates both hx and hy. We can say then that the moment of at h from the man on the rod gives us a counterclockwise moment at h, and we also have the x component, 4.6424, that acts at a distance of 2 feet. If you draw, take the time to draw these little pictures, you can see that if you slid this x component along its line of action toward h, you would have a perpendicular distance of 2 feet. Similarly, if you take h and the y component over here of 1.8570, you could slide that along its line of action until you found a perpendicular distance of 7 feet. So, our moment equation looks like mh, 4.6424 times 2, and 1.8570 times 7. You have to decide on the signs. MH spins counterclockwise. This would spin this point clockwise. And this would spin this point also clockwise. So each of those is negative, and your moment at H is 22.3 foot-pounds counterclockwise.